Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Little bit cloudy, but not too bad. We got some sun poking out. But uh, we are out here in the back country doing a little bit of grocery shopping. So I'm gonna pick up a couple of mangroves for dinner. Uh, I've got the chum bag out, so just waiting for the pinfish to gather so I can just pick them up right away. Then uh, I've got my bait rod for catching pinfish. Got my knocker rig already set up on the 12 pound esky. That's for uh, pulling those mangroves out of the mangroves. And then I've got my uh, light 10 pound rod all set up with the bucktail uh, all about the bait jig head. And uh, I might do some flats fishing if the sun stays out. But uh, otherwise that's the plan. They're here. I've already saw them start skirting around over here. So uh, time to pick up a couple of chunkers for bait. All right, we're in full pinfish production mode. Got my little pinfish rig there. Had to switch over to my flats rod and set up because the uh, bait rod reel was all gummed up from corrosion. So we got our pinfish here. Got the D-Hooker 5000. Get these guys off and getting it back out into the production line. So we'll get a quick dozen here or so real quick and then uh, get to some fishing. There we go. Oh, you got, you got hooked in the throat. There you go. Let go. And back at it. Well, I found the mangroves. They're all here. I'm looking for bigger ones. They're mixed in there. So I think I need to get away from right on top of them. So I'm gonna to try to back out and get a little bit farther out so I can pull them out. So I think we found our dinner, thousands of them. All right, we're all set up. I backed off so I'm not right on top of them because I would need some room to pull them out. And plus when the tension comes on, the cock is gonna get pulled that way. Uh, I've got one of the pinfish rigged up already, knocker rig through the anal port there. I'm going with a seven knot circle hook for the first one because just to see if there's a big chunker down there. Uh, after that, I'll go to a smaller hook and with some cut bait and just get some nice eaters, but this will work for now. Then I'm gonna test the drag. Ooh, I'm locked down. I want a fairly solid drag because there's some roots down there that I wanna make sure I keep them out of. All right, I think we're good to go. And then I'm just gonna lob him right around there. That's the base of the uh, undercut there. And just see if there's a big chunker willing to eat that big one. All right, something's taking it. Something's taking it. I'm gonna let him eat it. Taking it, just playing with it. I'm gonna give him a little bit more line. And that's it. I don't wanna get wrapped up down there in all that junk. That might just be the pinfish swimming. They're messing with them. always got to be you guys messing with my vibe oh man you see all the mangroves there and then I got to catch the one grouper <laughs> the run resident grouper but that's what you get for using those bigger baits a grouper all right the baby your baby uh, you're not supposed to bring them on board but easier to get this hook out 
Sorry. Ugh. Let go. There he goes. All right, I don't want those. I need dinner. So I'm gonna go with a cut chunk because these are a decent sized pinfish and then I think we'll be golden. All right, we're gonna go to our need dinner rig. I see some nice chunkers floating right in this uh, shallow mangroves. Oops, I can get it underneath there. You actually get to see the bite. All right, they're swarming it. I don't want you little ones. I want the bigger guys. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, pulled it out. Still there. Come on. They're swarming it. I need that big one. Grab it. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There we go. Uh, not the biggie, but that might be a, a nice keeper, though. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, that was better than I thought. Oh, all right, boom. That is a keeper. I think he's at that 13, 14. Well, getting smaller as I get closer. Let's check him out on the scale on the measure board here. All right, we are at 13. 13. Wow, he's had a hard life. Now, he deserves to live. There, he's got his gimme. I still got my bait, so we're good. I think there's a lot of those 13, 14 inches in there, so we'll keep out at that spot. I think one's got one. Oh. Oh. There we go. There, get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Oh. Yeah, there's a big boy. <laughs> they kick up that much water. No, they're good. Stay hooked up, baby. Wow, he's like running his dorsal fins on the water. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a good chunker here. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Baby! Yeah, you got some... Ooh! You got some shoulders on you. Uh. Let's see where we're at. Oh, we're bigger than the box. So we got 15. So I think we'll keep you. Oh, 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 going in the bucket. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Dang it. I'm gonna stick your hand in with the beast. Godly. Don't drop them, don't drop them. Don't lose them. Oh, it's slipping. Slipping. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh. There we go. Oh, get out. Stay out of there. <laughs> Whoa, something's after it. Uh, another nice. Hey, get out of there. Leave it alone. <laughs> There's another beauty. Alrighty. Stay on. 
Stay on. Bassmaster 5000. There we go. <sighs> I think we got our dinner. We are good to go. Hey. 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 All right. Measure on the board. And 13 and a half. That'll do. And we be done. Oh. Oh. All righty. So the rig I'm using to be a little bit more stealthy is I'm going all yellowtail rig. So I'm just going to circle hook. This is, I think, a four rot circle hook. And then a chunk of pinfish. And that's it. Stealthy. I might not change that out. There we go. All right, I'm moving up to a seven knot circle hook. No weight, half of a pinfish. Chunk it into the deep water corner there. Let it sink down. We're gonna watch for the uh, line to start ripping off and then we're gonna slam that bell shut. We wanna find that balance between letting them take it too far underneath the mangroves and yanking the uh, bait out of his mouth without getting the hook in there. Uh, it's taking it, playing with it. There it goes, starting to run. There we go. Oh no. Oh. That was a goodie. What happened there? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. There we, there we go. I don't think it's the same one, but it's a good one. Ugh. Yeah, it's not the same one. That first one was like a chunk. Ugh. You're not the one. It's a nice one though. But I got dinner already. Yeah, you're another 13, 14 incher. There it goes. Hello. I want whoever got it the first time. All right, off with you. There it goes. There it goes. It's swimming with it. It's swimming with it. Oh, didn't have him locked in. Oh, something's picking it up though, I think. Oh, like just picking it up and letting it go. Got to get that balance. Now they're just playing with it. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, that's better. Yeah, you're still not the big beast. But you're another good one, though. Yeah, they're getting all fired up. Yeah, you're a good fighter. Anybody need a mangrove sandwich? Definitely some good chunkers there. And I definitely got the rigs correct. Let go. Let go. There we go. You're staying on. You're not getting off. There's another beauty. <laughs> oh, look at you. Damn. Big boys. Man, that might be bigger than my first one. Holy crappers. Ah. Oh, let go of the rope. Let's measure you out. Uh, no, 15. Oh, but you're lucky. I don't need you. All right. Anybody need a 15 inch mangrove? A sandwich. Your lucky day, Bubby. All right. We got our dinner and then some. But thanks to the pinfish. 
allaboutthebait.com. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go check out the flats now. Uh, I think by the looks of the height of the water to the mangroves, water's pretty high, so I don't think it's gonna do much good, but it doesn't hurt to try, so let's go check it out. Well, the uh, flats are all blown out, so... Oh! Well, that was quick and cut me off. Well, the flats are kind of blown out, high tide, sun's going down, so I think I'm just gonna call it. Head on in and uh, make some dinner. So that's the new plan. Okay, here's what's for dinner. Got a nice 15 and a half incher and a perfect 13 incher. Just the right size. For these, I just need the boneless fillets, so let's get cleaning. And there you go, all prepped and ready to cook. The uh, 15 incher, I went ahead and filleted out there. Got two nice chunky fillets. The 13s, I generally don't like to fillet fish smaller than 14, 15 inches. Uh, you just lose so much meat. And uh, so this 13 I just kept whole. So I'll figure out what to do with that. But in the meantime, I know what I'm going to do with these fillets. All right, let's get ready for some dinner. So I'm just going to put some olive oil on our foil. Drop a fillet there. Drop a fillet there. A little bit of salt and pepper. Put some onions. Now part of every emergency food stash should have some sort of canned tomatoes. This is uh, diced tomatoes with chilies. So we're just gonna throw those on there. And that's also gonna provide the liquid for our steaming. Okay, we're just gonna seal up the foil pack. Roll up the edges there, keep the fluids in, keep the steam in, it's all so important. And we're not going to be flipping this. We're just going to cook it this as it sits, and that's it. So we don't have to worry too much about uh, spillage. Okay, it's ready to go on the barbecue. All right, just got to slide it on. Close the lid and walk away. All right, let's open her up. Whoa, perfecto, look at that, <laughs> nom nom nom, all right, let's plate this up, all right, are you ready, you ready, you ready, boom, <laughs> perfection, oh, look at that, so easy, White flaky meat just falls apart. Just work your way down. Oh, nice! And there we go. Some nice mangrove snapper boneless fillets topped with some pandemic supply diced tomatoes, some onions, some white rice. Oh. You just can't beat foil packs. They just keep that moisture in there. Oh, so good. But I do have to put a big shout out to all my uh, pinfish that have sacrificed themselves to feed me. Because to be honest, that's basically all I've been using to catch all these mangroves. I went ahead and uh, broke out one of the All About the Bait pinfish hats, dedicated to all those that gave their lives to feed me. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.